It's what we were worried about with Y2K, except it's actually happened. That's what some cybersecurity experts are saying after what is being called the largest IT outage in history hit the globe on Friday. One software update hiccup at the cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike sent the globe into chaos. Computer systems down at airports, banks, hospitals, and businesses worldwide. Credit card payment systems, public transportation, TV broadcast, 911 emergency lines, inoperable. It's not because of hackers or some sort of cyber attack. According to CrowdStrike CEO, it was a software update that was able to send Windows systems crashing. That issue has since been resolved. But now it's recovering the down systems that's the task at hand to restore normalcy in this tech-dependent world. CrowdStrike CEO George Kurtz spoke with the Today Show following the incident, apologizing for what happened. We're, we're deeply sorry for the impact that we've caused to customers, to travelers, to anyone affected by this, including our uh, companies. And now we are uh, working with each and every customer to make sure that we can bring them back online. So what even is CrowdStrike? The company has two purposes. One, sell its cybersecurity software that is highly sought after. It has 29,000 customers with more than 500 on the list of the Fortune 1000. The other branch of its business, helping to investigate major hacks, including assisting the U.S. government against security threats. It's a Texas-based company that's played a major investigative role in a significant number of cyber attacks, including the high-profile Russian hack of the Democratic National Committee during the 2016 election. It helps companies prevent attacks and also helps in the aftermath of a cyber attack. While there was no attack related to this software update glitch, the mishap caused major disruption to many sectors, including air travel. This is a 12-hour time lapse showing the air traffic of American Airlines, Delta, and United, showing a massive slowdown as flights were grounded due to the outage. And on the inside of airports nationwide, chaos and frustration, this video taken at a London airport. And passengers in Rome were stuck in long lines outside as their flights were also delayed. The problems happening domestically, too. This is an aerial view of a security check backlog of travelers in Philadelphia. Following the IT outages, CrowdStrike stock fell as much as 15% in pre-market trading. For more news updates, download the Straight Arrow News mobile app or visit us at san.com.